So, hey guys, Chelsea here. I actually just woke up to this big news dump. So a lot of stuff happening. I didn't think we'd get the Flame Flame Fruit rerun. JP also got it right after Kisna Buggy. And even if we got the rerun, we often don't rerun the games. But it's confirmed that we're getting the games too. So we should be getting over 20 games from this, so that's very nice. We also get the new Limit Break expansions, I might talk about that in a different video. We got new effects, this is just a new Cosmic Edition. I'm not overly excited for this, but we're getting uh, some bottles for free so we can try it out at least. We also have the Sugo Fest for loser running. I won't talk much about that. You can get the Lucy guaranteed again for 5 multis. You'll have to decide the value of that. It's a very good unit. I use him quite a bit. We will probably depend a bit about what legends you can get there on the third multi. But yeah, he's cheaper this time since we have the one game multi added this time. And finally, what I really want to talk about is this new treasure map, Sugofest. And as we can see, We Three Boa will be on part 1. And part 1 is the only part worth pulling on, as we'll see. So it's already really good news. We know the newest legend and the highest point booster of the legends will be on the first part. So yeah, this is a special treasure map because there are only two boosters and they are both very good. And the big news is here in the beginning, it's that on part one you can get the new Perona guaranteed on the third multi. And then you will be guaranteed on the seventh multi and this is actually amazing. If we compare to what JP had on their debut. You had no guaranteed new unit. You had that on the 5th and 10th multi. You could get either Vivi or Perona for guaranteed. So let me just say how relieved I am about this. Like I have to pull a bit more. But I know that I can get both of them. And for a player like me. Who has the ability to pull a bit more. Getting these two is a no-brainer. But yeah, we can look at the Sugofest structure first before we talk about the units. And yeah, this Sugo will start right after maintenance. But yeah, sadly we still have this shitty uh, guaranteed to be one of 500 different units step-ups. It's just... I don't know why they do these. Should I just be in a rate booster character? Like, it's not hard. Rate boost the Royal Legend. That's what they do in JP, at least. This is like the dumbest thing to happen to Global. But at least we also get the one Rainbow Gem step ups. And it also means that if you go all the way to the new Wii, you can also do the 8th multi and you have a. Extra pull for free basically, so that's a bonus at least. And we can also look at the booster list. So as usual, we can only see the uh, rare recruits that are boosted. And it's basically all the batch from the World Cruise batch. We have the Summer batch. We have the Wheat Law batch. And we have the Sugar and Smoker badge. And if you wonder why this is, I'm going to bring up the treasure map list here. We have it updated. I don't know when it updated, but we can look at it anyway. And we are going to have an insane amount of boosters this uh, treasure map. First we have the new units from Girls Party. So Legend Boa and her three re-recruit. And we have all the new units from World Cruise, like Odin and Roger and his rare recruit. We'll have to see how high point booster 
Odin and Roger is. I won't be surprised whatever they do. They can be same as Boa 1.5. They can be down to 1.35, which is often the case for these kind of situations where we get legends a bit early on global or when they are uh, not part of the current bat for treasure map is often 1.35 and you can even make the case for 1.2 but i don't think that but i wouldn't be shocked if it happened but yeah we know it will be somewhere along these lines unless they do some kind of crazy treasure map like the jp annie treasure map with the treasure map luffy and that which had whack point values, but you can never predict that, so we'll have to see. But there's a lot, it's a new white beard. Yet remember that Global boosts a lot of new more units than JP does. Global basically boosts every unit who has debuted since the last treasure map. So we have the new white beard, we have the Kiss Clash Aloida, we have the treasure map boosters from last treasure map. We have the sh whole sugar badge. The 6 plus V2 Jinbei, Kisna Clash Buggy, the new Enel from Pirate Rumble, these free to play uh, Summer Girls. And yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of boosters. So it's not going to be too hard to make teams at least. And uh, since I have Boa and. Uh, I have a good chance of getting max point boost. It depends what to do with Odin and Roger. I don't have Roger, so if Roger is the same as Boa, I'll be lacking a bit of points, but should be a bit good trash map at least. But yeah, let's talk quickly about the new Vivi and Perona. And yeah, as a unit, I say Perona is the better one. So it's a good value for 3 multis, basically. You have to run five free spirit characters on a team, which has been bad, which is better now with Odin Roger releasing, and we also have a very good ship in our reaction. But yeah, if you do that, you will remove attack down by five turns, and you will get the death down by 80%, and also a conditional boost for death down for 1.75 times. And that is only if you have 5 free spirit characters. And also if your captain is free spirit, you also make quick slots beneficial. So yeah, considering that Prone has a lot of great support too, this unit is extremely good. So I'm very excited I can get her now. For a guarantee. And then Weewee. Not as good, but Weewee is my favorite character. So I'm excited I can get her for guaranteed now. And she has an amazing support. I'll talk about the support first, but you can put her on any free spirit character. And when they use a special, you get a free 1.3 times affinity for all free spirit characters. That's just so good. Super excited for that. And her special is not useless by far, uh, far from it. She <coughs> removes damage reduction for 5 turns. She gives a 1.75 times affinity for Cerebral and Free Spirit. And if you hit, I don't know if it was if it's 3 or 4 perfects, but if you do that, you get 2 times affinity for Free Spirit or Cerebral next turn. So, yeah, very excited. Perona is next, Vivi Sai. I recommend picking up both if you are like me and spend from time to time. We still have the game packs available but if you're free to play of course you can consider the perona but otherwise this is a skip yeah thanks for watching i'll be back talking about the treasure map when the time comes have a good one